Okay, hello everybody. This is uh, Professor Alex Akwadiete. I'm going to walk you through one of the labs on mobile devices, specifically 7.3.7, .7, because one of the students requested it. So if you have any question or any problem with any of the lab or materials, I will try and use Zoom to explain so you can understand. So this is on mobile device uh, uh, test our lab. So I'm going to try and share my screen in here. Let's share a portion of my screen. All right, so this is how it normally looks. I'm going to go over now. I'm going to open up a test out. So on your test out, I've already come to the lab. Let's bring this down here. But let's just, for those who don't know what the lab is, let's just uh, go out of this lab here. I mean, I'm going to scroll up and fill the lab. But this is a lab, 7.3. Uh, it's ex extended a little. All right, 7.3.7 7 to configure mobile device. You start the lab. You late, wait for it. By the way, if you notice on here on your address bar, if you see a red mark, it means pop up is disabled. So in this case, my pop up is not disabled. So we're going to do the lab. It gives you the scenario. All, you, all they want you to do here is to use a cable modem to set up a network. Right? Explains the scenario here. Let me expand it a little here for you. I'm on my laptop, so it's a, the, the windows is slightly slightly smaller. All right, so here, the first thing it tells you is to connect the modem to the WAN connection, which is wide area network connection. So this terminology here, because we're using cable, so we're gonna to connect to the cable on the wall as opposed to an RJ45 cable on the wall, right? Uh, registered jack 45. Which is what you normally use for networking, and of course, RG11 is what you use for cable. I mean, for telephone. So here on the screen, I'm going to open up uh, routers. I'm going to see this. Is what I need, I'm going, to, I'm going to move it straight here. I try to put it here. If you see my mouse, make my life easier. Put it in here. I know I'm going to work with this later, on, so I can move it here. But just so I don't confuse anybody, I'm going to go in sequence. So first thing is to connect the, the router to the one connection. So since it's a cable, I'm going to be looking for this F-type connector here. So I'm going to move it. And you see on here, that's the, I want, let's move this thing back for a minute. It's going to beep for me, but don't worry about that, right? I put it on the shelf here. So we want the back of the modem. So I'm going to go to the back. Usually I enlarge my screen, but so I don't copy any, but I'm going to take this cable and I'm going to put it right here. See, it, blue, it turns blue to tell me, but if it doesn't go, let's see, I'm just gonna enlarge my screen. Just bear with me, I'm enlarging my screen. So I know that's the, I'm gonna bring it down here. So I know that's the cable spot. So I just take it and I'm gonna put it on, no, sorry, I, I moved the RJ45, right? So I, let, I just go ahead and leave it there, it's already started. But I really needed the F-type connector, where's the, the cable here? The cable, I'm gonna move it here, I'm gonna put it here. That's done already, I already put the RJ45 here, but since I'm already here, I might as well just move the power connector, this AC-DC cord. If you notice, if I get it closer to here, it's gonna blue. It tells me I'm in the right place, and I'm gonna choose the one on the bottom to put it in there. And then we're gonna go, since I'm already here anyway, let me just go ahead and go to the wall. I know this part needs to go to the wall. Sorry, my, my uh, screen is not following me. Did I bring the screen here? All right, so you see where I am? I'm gonna move this. Well, good thing about this lab, it tells me that this portion is unconnected. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right there. So that's done. But I also need to take up uh, my, my uh, screen up here. I need to move this cable. So if I just come and highlight here, you're gonna show me the unconnected portion. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on the wall, right? I want to put it on the wall. So that part is done. So next thing I need to do is, I've already connected the cables. I've already done, move this screen here again. I've already done, connect the modem. I've already plugged in the modem. So next thing I want to do is take the, from the shelf, let me reduce this here. I'm going to move the, find the router right here. I'm going to put it here to make my life easier next to the, next to the cable modem. And I want the back of it, I'm going to put it back. And you remember on here, I put this in here. 
So if I if I click if I click on that RJ45 the blue cable, it will tell me what I'm doing, right? But that, I just highlighted for you. So next thing I want to do is here, let me go to the back of this. Again, I'm going to increase my screen to make my life a lot easier. For those of us who are visually challenged, and you do the same thing in the exam, increase the screen. That's okay. Enlarge the equipment you're working on. So I know I want this internet connection in here, but I'm going to take it from here. Yeah, see. So I come, I just highlight the cable, and I'm just going to move it, and I'm going to put it here. That's what he's talking about, the first one. Connect the modem to the, on here. It says, connect the internet port on the router to the cable modem. That's what I just did. I'm not going to connect the computer to a LAN, which is local area network port on the wireless router. That's this here. So I go to the back of my computer. I notice that this one, what I see on here is probably another extra, uh, what's called network interface card I was putting there. But I, I like to use the, let's bring this out of the way for a minute. I want to use this one in here. That's the normal onboard on the motherboard. So I'm going to take it here. I'm going to take a cable from here. And I'm going to go from here to here. And I'm going to take it from here and then put it in one of these. It doesn't matter which one, I just put the next one on the back of the router. So that's done, all I gotta do is, don't worry about this thing, they just give an extra cable here, maybe to confuse you, but remember this USB type AB is for a printer. One portion goes to the printer, that portion goes to your device. You know, it's a peripheral device. So, but this is what I want, I wanna come and connect this in here. Again, if this is too tiny for me, I'm gonna increase it a little, let's, let's increase the size of, our screen, and then we're gonna go scroll down here. Don't worry if it's confusing you. I'm, I'm just trying to bring it so you can see the connector. So I'm explaining it, right? See, that's much easier. So I take this and I'm gonna put it on the back here, All right? And it's asking me, I can use this one. If you're taking the A plus exam, it's not really gonna tell you that you made a mistake. So you just gotta be careful. That's why you must practice this lab. So I'm gonna go back to the wall. I wanna put that on the wall. Sometimes you will see a scenario where they give you a, a surge protector, but that's best practice. So I'm increasing my screen. I'm going to now take this and I'm going to go here. And I'm essentially done with the lab. If I want to just, I can go back again and check if it's an exam. And all I'm going to down to here say I want to score my lab. So let me make my screen in here and I click what it says um, score the lab. Done everything correct, everything should be checked green. So everything is checked green here. So I've done that, I've completed the lab, right? It says pass. Same thing on the exam or the plus exam. Or in real life, you have to set up a, a cable modem with a wireless router for a client. Of course, today we're all using like Xfinity Gateway that maybe you can have an all-in-one device, but still you're gonna need a what's called a wireless access point, right? Or WAP device. And then I'm just gonna, I'm done with the lab, so I'm scored. Let me stop uh, my share. All right, so this that's it, that's it for the mobile device, one of the labs. If you have any problem with any other lab, let me know and I'll walk you through the lab. And I hope everybody stays safe.